Good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Nagi Suresh from RIT Islampur. Uh, this is the session of uh, transportation lab, and uh, in this we also see that uh, one of the instrument that is used for the transportation, and uh, it's uh, about the measurement or to determine the viscosity of a given phenomenon of tar sand. So first, that uh, uh, the aim is to determine the viscosity of a bitumen or given tar sample. The apparatus required for that is a uh, 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 viscometer uh, as per the IS1206. The redwood viscometer is used, or as per the ASTM, the particular uh, say bolt viscometer is used. So here is the viscometer orifice type. In this particular, if you see one by one, this is the water bath and uh, the heating coil is inside because we have to maintain the temperature in between 25 degree to 50 degree that is specified temperature for this test and uh, this is what is known as a cup uh, that cylinder in that we have to fill the vitamin sample okay vitamin is uh, uh, softened at a uh, 75 to 100 degree centigrade and that vitamin by sieving through 75 micron sieve that sample is uh, put in this particular cylinder up to the mark the specified temperature as i told 25 degree to 50 degree that you have to maintain and uh, thermometer is used to measure the temperature of the water bath we can have to uh, stir like this so that the temperature will be maintained uniformly in the this particular water bath so thermometer to measure the this particular temperature so this is orifice viscometer thermometer this is a thermostat for energy regulating by this we can maintain the temperature specified test temperature 25 to 50 degree by this energy regulating device known as a thermostat now coming to the uh, theory part why we have to measure the viscosity what is the reason that we have to measure the viscosity of the particular given vitamin sample or tar sample so coming to the definition viscosity is nothing but the resistance to the that particular flow and that resistance due to the internal friction of that particular material we use the vitamin for the road construction we use as a binding material so vitamin we want our desired viscosity means if the viscosity is more is high viscosity is there then there is more resistance and what the mixing we will do with the, the aggregate that that will be heterogeneous stiff mix will be formed if the high viscosity is there if the viscosity is low then that particular uh, aggregates will get lubricated and what would we want we want the proper binding of the aggregate as it's a binder material so we have to find out the particular that particular viscosity at which we have the proper binding and it will, it will act, act as a binder so this is what uh, the method by this uh, redwood or say bond viscous meter we have to find out that uh, proper viscosity of that particular vitamin and uh, for that purpose we have to use this orifice meter type viscometer if you see at the bottom here is the orifice that is specified orifice specified orifice is here at the bottom and through that that particular sample will flow we have to allow that sample to flow and we have to collect the sample in the measuring cylinder or class about 50 cc or 50 milli that sample is we have to collect it we have to collect so time required to collect 50 cc sample that we have to measure and that is nothing but the viscosity of that particular given sample so i think you understood this now we will see one by one that the process now coming to this particular we have to as i told we have to soften the first vitamin so we have to put the vitamin sample in on the, uh, the heating plate we have to make uh, soften 
the temperature range from 75 degree to 100 degree. Once it sharpens, we have to take it in cuff. So see, this is a uh, the sharpen sharpen bitumen. We have taken it in a cuff, and this soften bitumen that we have to pour in the cylinder, right? And uh, let us see that the process. Now we will pour this particular uh, soften bitumen in the cylinder or that tube. We have already filled that particular uh, water bath by the water. We have to maintain the temperature in between 25 to 50 degree. Now the sample of vitamin we have to pour in the cylinder or that tube. Care should be taken that it should not flow from bottom. It should not flow from the bottom. Mm -hmm. 